Well, as we can see, things are picking up. Um, the uh, French commander um, in a bit of a pickle and uh, was likely to see the fr first French unit, which had been marching forward and come under fire from four units, as we saw in the first turn, um, were like likely to see that unit destroyed uh, for no loss to the British. So, in other words, um, uh, there was no gain from its destruction, basically. I suppose it did tie down, you could say, uh, British units to an extent. It caused them not to shoot at other things. So, I suppose, cannon fodder. Anyway, um, the French, so they moved forward. Um, they are brave lads, and I don't think they're long for this world. They're basically... They've done that to um, block the line of sight from that unit to this unit here. Um, and they are indeed cannon fodder. These two artillery units didn't move, so they actually can fire because this unit was allowed to move in a new direction, a new evolution that I'm going to add to the rules, which is meant to simulate that the unit has done a right face and moved to the right and then done a left face and is looking forward again. And I've just simply adjudicated that they can do that. Um, so basically they move sideways uh, at half the normal rate. It's not simulating them sidestepping. It's simulating them turning, moving, and then turning back. So they were allowed to do that. That got them just about out of the way of the line of sight from the center of the artillery to the center of this unit here. So the artillery can fire at them and these artillery can also fire at them. Um, other things that happened in the French movement was that the French cavalry who were here decided they want to make something happen. So they've charged the enemy. Interesting thing in these rules, of course, is that um, they, uh, the way the shooting and the combat works is that in your turn, you do shooting, you do, you inflict damage through hand-to-hand -hand combat on the enemy if your cavalry has charged, um, but you don't get any damage done to you. So um, they can attack them, and if they fail to destroy them, which they will, they, they can't possibly score that many hits, they will then bounce, bounce back six inches while still facing, as the rules put it, their erstwhile enemy. Um, but they won't take any losses themselves. So it's all like, well, why not? Give it a go. Anyway, also, they were in a crafty move, anticipating that the French are going to bounce back then. The French infantry, the third, we'll call it, battalion, has moved up here, has moved up here, so that they have, now they actually have a clear line of sight to the center of the um, British dragoons, so that when the French, I believe they're actually chasseurs, I, I identified them incorrectly earlier, when they bounce back, they will now have a direct line of sight to be able to shoot at them, so the British Dragoons will have to decide uh, what to do, because if they stay where they are, they're going to get shot at. Um, and uh, right, so we shall see. Let's see here. <clears throat> 